Gonna go ahead and donate this today. Finally get rid of it. Rest in peace. Well, this is unfortunate. All right, guys, welcome back. Pandemic vlog, COVID-19. The stores. Um, today, me and Maddie are gonna go into the stores and I'm just gonna show you guys exactly what's been going on, especially after this last month and all the chaos. Uh, we're just gonna show you some of the empty shelves and some of the stores that uh, we go and shop at on a day-to-day -day basis. So yeah, I'm gonna take you guys in with me and uh, we'll see how this pandemic has affected us as a uh, society. Yep. So down in Walmart, you can see the uh, flower is gone. And they're posting a lot of those signs up nowadays. Looks like the vegetable oil is going now. <laughs> and we actually came in here to get some coconut oil. <laughs> so can't go wrong with this brand, guys. Spectrum, whole organic. But for oil pulling, you want virgin coconut oil. It's like uh, hair grooming products are gone now. That's new. Looks like it was the paper plates that were next. And napkins. <laughs> and now the toilet paper, paper towels, paper products. Disinfecting wipes, bro, look at this. Got the bleach. Dish cleaning. detergents look at that I'm trying to make a comeback a few there so we're one of my favorite stores and um, they decided to pull out all the bulk stuff and the items yeah, pre-packaged yep first it was wear make sure you wear gloves now they just decided to take everything out Couldn't help myself, had to get the toilet paper, Kleenex, and paper towels. They're making a comeback, though. Look at that. Making a comeback. Household cleaners. Yep. They're making a comeback, too. Like I was saying earlier, they had to bag all the items, bag them or put them in containers. All the bulk items in the Huckleberry section. This place is kind of like Whole Foods, but it's it's basically uh, they sell everything, not just everything organic, but yeah, all the bulk items, containers, and bags. So, get your figs, prunes, wait, dates. Sorry, dates, prunes, and dates. <laughs> oh, and banana chips. Got your nuts. Granola, granola mixes. Got your lentils, some split peas, your soup, yellow lentils, flax seeds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, all that. Got your oat flour, rice flour, coconut flour. Get your buckwheat flour. And then he also got cornmeal, cane sugar, salt, real salt right there. You got your rolled oats in the containers. Some of them are in bags too, um, and some other shelves. Millet. Yeah. It's crazy, guys. They had to restock everything on these shelves. Say that again. Another nine dollars. Nine dollars. Nine dollars for three. Three avocados for two ninety nine each. All right. Plus tax, so probably more like ten. Sounds good. What's gone, babe? Flowers and sugars. Yep. That's right. People are pretending that they can bake, but they really can't. Yes. Baby wipes. 
Yeah, this is nothing new for me when I come in here to uh, do a delivery service for the store. It's an extra job that I work. This is what I see every day. And the toilet paper. Yeah. Customers will ask me to get this for them, for the delivery service I work for, and I can never get them the toilet paper that they want or the paper towel products that they want. And Kleenex. And Kleenex, too. Oh, wait, they're making a bit of a comeback with Force Green. <laughs> it's looking okay. It's looking okay. Down here. All right, guys, uh, the last store that we were in was Safeway, and that's another place where I go and get food and groceries and all that and whatnot. But yeah, this is the craziness of the pandemic. And so this is kind of what the stores have been looking like for the last month. We'll see how this next month treats us. We'll see how April treats us. Some shelves are making a comeback, which is great. But that's it for the video, guys. And if you haven't yet, like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.